things that maybe we don't immediately get just on the surface. Play some of the music for us. <laughs> Uh, well, you know, it, it starts off by talking about the most high God, that he, uh, we hide, uh, it, he shelters us, he protects us. Uh, we are surrounded by uh, walls. We, uh, you know, it, he, 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 and a shield. Uh, the idea is when the, a plague would hit ancient Israel or the enemy would come, people would often run toward the temple if they lived in the proximity of Jerusalem. They would try to go to the temple, get behind the walls, on the other side of the walls for protection, but to get as close as possible to the divine presence of God, the Shekinah glory. Mm. And uh, when we read in the Psalm that we are under his wings, for example, uh, it, you know, the image uh, that comes to mind is the wings of an eagle protecting her eaglets. But the idea is when you look at the Ark of the Covenant, uh, that's in the Holy of Holies, there are two cherubim with their wings stretched over hmm. uh, the mercy seat. And the Shekinah glory appeared in the midst of that. That's the divine presence of God. And we, the imagery is that we are under those wings in the divine presence of God. He says, you don't have to be afraid by the arrows that fly by night. He wasn't talking about literal arrows. What he was talking about was demonic forces or the plague. Uh, Psalm 91 was originally called the song of, uh, or the Psalm of Plagues. And so it was written with that in mind. And how appropriate uh, and how comforting this Psalm is, especially in today's world. Yeah. And so the imagery is that we are under the shadow, we're, uh, uh, you know, with the Most High, way, way, way up high. When I was a kid, you know, we would have summer projects and one summer we, we, we built a tree house and I was about, we were about eight years old. And the objective was to be as high up as we possibly can to be away from the girls, <laughs> <laughs> you know, the cooties and all of that. You know. right, right, right. And, uh, but that's the idea that we're high up in the presence of God. We're under his wings, the shadow of his wings and the demonic influence or the plague or the enemy or that bad thing uh, we are protected from. Now, with that said, it doesn't say that bad things will never happen to us. Mm -hmm. But when it does happen, we can be assured that we are protected and comforted by his presence. And, and the Apostle Paul, Rabbi Shaul, the Apostle Paul said it this way, your body is, he's talking to believers, your body is the temple mm -hmm. of the Holy Spirit. And so the idea there, and I remind believers today, listen, when the bad thing happens, when the plague happens, when the enemy comes, when that fear happens, and, and, and the Psalm talks about at night, and it's always at night. Now, I was a pastor for a long time. And I would always get the call at night mm. and I would go to the home or go to the hospital and hold their hand and to reassure them to read scripture and to pray with them. And, and the idea is we don't have to run to a physical location when the bad thing happens. And this is for believers is that we just simply reach up and cry out to God, help. And, and just there's, there's, a, there's a caveat to this. In Isaiah 41, 13 is one of my favorite verses where God says, listen, I will take you by the right hand. You know, he's saying, I'll walk with you along the way. He says, do not fear, I will help you. And that's the idea is when the bad thing comes because 
our body, we have the Holy Spirit within us, the, the divine presence of God within us. Uh, we just call out to him and he comes to us and he holds our hand as it were, mm. and he walks with us and he says, don't be afraid, I will help you. And that's the idea behind the whole psalm. 